The question here is the time between curing and finishing of composite restoration is 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes and 20 minutes. So as we all know composite restorations have now become a very important trend in dentistry simply because a lot of patients have started wanting more aesthetic restorative materials. Also by 2030 it has been proposed that all mercury containing materials and instruments shall be and equipment shall be discarded from India. That means to say that your sigma manometer also will not be used anymore. Initially the tenure was 2020. However, because of COVID, the tenure has been increased and the duration has now become 2030 by which all mercury containing <coughs> equipments and materials are going to be completely discarded from the medical profession. So, composites are going to become a very important part of your day-to-day uh, -day practice. In addition to that, when you go to normal clinics, composites are what patients have started demanding and would want to use. Now, suppose this is a tooth. Composite restorations are usually what form the bulk of the cavity and you restore these teeth with composite restorations. As opposed to amalgam, composite restorations do not need a specific form of the tooth structure. All you need to do is just excavate the complete carious region and after excavation, you just have to place the composite restoration inside the tooth. For amalgam restorations, you need to remember that amalgam is a very brittle material and it does not uh, get polished very well because the temperature is going to increase. It is a very brittle material and initially the amalgam after uh, you carve it and you burnish, post carve burnishing even if it is not advised, a lot of practitioners do prefer burnishing, post carve burnishing of the amalgam restoration. So when you do post carve the amalgam restoration, burnishing, the surface does become a little smooth. However, because amalgam takes about 24 hours to completely mature and set, you recall the patient out the next day in order to polish the restoration, finish and polish the restoration. However, for composites, since it is command set because we use light cure composites, the composite restoration has undergone about 65% polymerization, 65 to 70% polymerization through the light cure. In such cases, the uh, composite has become a hard mass and all you have to do is either you have to just finish it and polish it which can be done in the same appointment. Now, why is 15 minutes so important is because the oxygen inhibited layer that is present on the composite restoration as well as the free monomer that is present on the uh, composite restoration is what is important. The free monomer is what is not available at that point in time. So you would want the monomer to evaporate and then after that you would want to polish the restoration. Usually it takes about 15 minutes for this entire process to complete and you can bring about finishing of the restoration. That is why the answer is 15 minutes. How do you do complete, how do you polish, finish and polish composite restorations? This finishing of composite restorations can be achieved very easily with the help of what are called as yellow banded burrs. These are simple smoothening burrs. What they do is they just smoothen the margins of the restoration as well as the surface of the restoration. You want to achieve smooth margins and smooth surfaces is because you do not want plaque to go and get accumulated over there or food debris to get accumulated over there. That is the reason why you finish the restoration. Polishing is the ability to bring about the luster and the translucency that you have in the natural teeth in your, in your composite restorations. And that is done with specific finishing and polishing kits. And a lot of companies like Shofu or Tokuyama give, I, give you these. 3M as well as Densply also provide you with finishing and polishing kits. So for finishing, you use pumice paste and you use polishing cups and discs in order to bring about the finishing.